Yes, sir, so welcome to the Silly's Garden, folks. It's that time of week again, folks. Once a week, I come down here and say hello to my little veggie patch. I was going to say my garden patch, but it's a little veggie patch. Raised garden beds. And uh, the last time we were here was stinking hot, and we showed you the wilting of the tomato plant, in particular that big one over there. And we didn't prune it, um, and we've come back to have a look and see how it's going. But in the meantime, this is the big malacca uh, here that's going to catch up. You can see it's put on some decent growth on it. Now we've got a lot of, sorry, just noticed that we've got to cut it back. Urgh! It looks like blight coming up on here. It started on this plant too now. Why? So it's up to here so far. And if I cut it back, it means I lose all this top growth here, folks. And I can't cut that out. And this is an issue. Okay, this is internal, it's not external. I'm not sure if it was the rope that did it. First, we do this. Close inspection. It doesn't look like that. You know what it looks like to me? I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like bruising to me from the rope. That's what it looks like. It looks like this rope or string that I've had tied up here with all the bloody northerly winds coming through here have been causing it to bruise up. Because it's just, it's exactly where I, and it may develop into a virus now, because look at that, that's streaking down there. All right, something like this, I'm gonna spray. I'm actually gonna use wettable sulfur on this to see if I can stop it from getting any worse. So I'm not gonna cut it off. I'm gonna see if I can suppress it. Another good product to use is bicarb soda, which you can spray on, because that oxygenates the spores of the virus then causes them to die off or stop from spreading. But I'm gonna try the wettable sulfur for now. I prefer that than the bluestone in this case here. So I'm going to give this a quick spray, but first we're actually going to prune it back. Before we do that, have a look at this. We've got suckers at the bottom. I want to keep this active. I want to keep this one and this one here alive. These two stems. One, two. Now, we've got a third one here that's growing up above, but we've got two strong ones down here, but they're very succulent. You can feel that they, you know when they're not going to be a nice rigid stem because they're really soft and long and lanky, so we break them off and they do snap off quite easily, all right? although they were starting to harden off at the bottom. Nevertheless, we got one there. I think this one here, which is below the virus, well, it's not a virus, let's call it just a marking, the, um, will be fine. But then again, we've got this one over here and that one there. Ah, oh, too many choices. Just get rid of them. Get more airflow. Let's just work on that theory. Okay, snap, snap, snap. That's gone as well. I'm going to keep this one down below because what I can do is actually top it up with soil as well and that'll just toughen it up. So we'll take that leaf off. We're going to take this one off. We don't want that. And we're going to take this one here off as well. Okay, a bit more airflow. And look, we've got another shoot there. So we've got one, two, three, four coming on. I'll leave that one. Let's play with that. Four shoots for now. All these little shoots in here, get rid of those. We don't need those. All right. Before we spray that, let's have a quick look around and see how the rest of the garden's going. Cucumber, look, it's doing really well. We've got plenty of cucumbers coming along, lots of male and female flowers. I haven't trained it anywhere, but look, it's found a little frame here to hold on to. So no doubt it'll climb around here. We'll just put this back on here for now. And eventually we'll train it up onto a higher level. The capsicums are doing well. The pumpkin's taken off like wildfire. We can see snail trails here as well look at this so the snail there is a snail in here somewhere i'm just tracking back where that is silvering of the leaves there's another one there see the slithering saliva left behind let's see where it is it's in here somewhere it's got to be in here there it is have a look here yeah? look where he's hiding there we go come on little fella who lets you in here roadkill that's what happens when you come in my garden, folks. Otherwise, you've got to use some Eradicate Eco. Just sprinkle some Eradicate down, folks. Snail bait, friendly stuff. It does break down quite quickly because you add water. And so you've got to always top it up like that there. No more damage. Let's move to this one. <laughs> These were all wilted last week like they were about to die. It's actually doubled in size. It's got a heap of flowers up there as well. And we have got fruit everywhere have a look little flute fruit not flutes fruits fruit fruit 
there's flowers there, there's flowers there, there's fruit down in here, there's fruit over here, there's fruit over there, there's tomatoes here, there are tomatoes everywhere. If you've been following what I'm doing here folks, I hope you have, and for those who have, I hope you're succeeding just as well. Now the microclimate plays a big role in it. We, we spoke about that in the past. Because I'm doing the same thing at home and the plants aren't growing as vigorously as these, but yet they are still as vibrant and healthy. So they will catch up eventually. But look at the size of this plant. This is a monster. I'm here once a week and I don't do much besides a couple of prunes here or there. That's it. You can see now that I've just got to tie this one up. I don't want this to lean over too far. But, you know, the plants are healthy. We haven't got the virus. Only spot is on that one there. And I remember we spoke about that. That high wind, that constant temperature change has given that a hard time. So that's bruising that it started off becoming a virus. So we're going to spray that. But the rest of the plants as well, capsicums are doing well. A little bit in the shade. So keep that in mind next time you're planting. Plant them on the north side where they get more sunlight. Basil's in the shade too. Plant it on the north side. Well, who expected the tomato plant to grow so big so quickly? Anyway, on the other side, the zucchini. Don't worry, it gets better. We've got zucchinis already. Look at that. Growing beautifully. We've got more there coming on. We had a male flower. He's done his job and he's gone to heaven. So the nail flower's done the pollinating that we needed to, and it's gone. Now, here, yeah, look at this. We have to train this up. That's a bit noisy in the background, don't mind that. We need to train that up. This is a little cucumber plant. We've got one, two. We're going to harvest now, folks. Two. Come over here. Three. Four. One second, there's another one. How many have we got here off this little tiny plant? Four cucumbers already. One, two, three, four. And a little one growing there, which is going to be five. And we're going to keep training this up. And we've got a heap more going on. Look, one, two, every leaf node. And we've got a couple of cucumbers. This needs to be trained around here now. Slowly, we train it up like that. Hopefully, it'll grow up here and bring it all the way up to the top. Nice and healthy. Perfect microclimate, as we said. And the tomato plant. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Bugger me, what's this going on here now? Out of nowhere. Looks like a mite that's doing that. They'll get a bit of curl in the leaf on the new growth. That could be infected already. Out of nowhere, huh? Such a healthy plant. We've got a bit of a mite going on. It might be. It's hard to tell. I haven't got a microscope here, but that's the sort of symptom that you'll get when it well russet might does that but it starts to bronze off as well but that's only on the new growth anyway we're going to give that a spray not now it's a bit too warm for that folks so eco oil on this wettable sulfur on the other plant down there and i'm actually going to do it tomorrow morning while well, you're watching this so when you're watching this is when i'm spraying it nice and early in the morning and we'll probably visit this again and see how they perform afterwards anyway check out our website vasiliesgarden.com our weekend 3rw radio special is on up to 75 percent off a huge range of online products so all your gardening essentials heavily discounted take advantage to put your orders in if you want a christmas pre-christmas delivery and plus if you're watching this just as we've uploaded it i'm going to be at the radio that's 3rw radio talking gardening with darren james and then i'll be straight back here at the garden center from 8 30 onwards to spray these plants and give them some treatment and then after that i'll be at the werribee state rose garden show doing another presentation so come down listen to the radio come to Coburg, and follow me down to werribee for a wonderful day's event otherwise check out our website vasiliesgarden.com for all your specials and great products that you need from me vasili marisi